good it is to have you in my arms again. Those hours of waiting were endless. I kept imagining what could go wrong. Nothing went wrong. I'm here. The thought that I could lose you. Look, Ali, I'm fine. Okay, you are the one I'm worried about. I cannot believe that it's very safe to have me here at the palace. What if Hassad finds there out? There is no Hassad tonight. But Ali... It's fine. The border has been quiet for 24 hours. And tonight we have much more important matters to attend to. Did you bring an evening gown with you? An evening gown? No, no, that thought never occurred to me. I, I mean, aren't we going to your tent in the desert? No. There is a state dinner that you must attend. Uh, a state dinner? You won't be bored. Oh, it's not just that. Look, I mean, that you cannot take me to a state dinner. I mean, that would... All the gossip that would cause is just flaunting our relationship in public. Come on, you can't, you can't be serious. I am absolutely serious. And on this particular occasion, your presence will not be a problem. This is very crazy, okay? I don't even have anything to wear. Why don't you go ahead to your state dinner and I'll meet you afterwards, all right? <laughs> this okay. is out of the question. What? Do you show Miss Denning to the East Wing and see that she has everything that she needs? Wait a minute. Uh, I'll leave. I will see you soon at dinner. Miss Sloan Denning. I have never seen you look more beautiful, Sloane. Thank you. I should let you buy all my evening dresses. <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. I, uh, I thought you said this was a state dinner. Yes. Where are all the other people? This is a state dinner, Sloane. You are the guest of honor. <laughs> Did you really think I was going to share you with anybody else this evening? <laughs> know that I felt my heart sink when I thought we'd have to spend the next four hours making polite conversation to strangers. It is written all over your face. Oh. Ollie, this room is so magnificent. I can't even begin to imagine what it must feel like to live in this palace. To be honest with you, lonely at times. Not tonight. Do you like your rooms? Are you kidding? I feel like uh, a princess in a fairy tale. I mean, this is real. Do you remember what you said to me last time we were in the desert? You said you kept imagining us running around different corners of the world, meeting in secret rendezvous. Well, that's not what I want. Do you remember what I said to you? Yes. You said that we would find a way to be a part of each other's lives. And that begins tonight. This is a very special dinner to welcome you to my home. present for me? What is it? See for yourself. Go ahead, lift the cloth. Oh, oh, oh Ali, it's magnificent. In Barak, the Rosella is a symbol of joy. I'm giving her to you because you've given me such incredible joy in my life. Oh, she's so beautiful. Open the cage. Oh, won't she fly away? Well, that's the best part. According to the legend, by releasing her, you ensure the happiness we have now lasts for the rest of our lives. Ooh, something as special and romantic as all this, something like, like the Rosella. 
You have. So. No, you know what I mean. <laughs> I, it's amazing. You have such a strong sense of tradition here. You know, we don't have anything like this in the United States. Tradition can be a blessing, but it can also be a curse. Times change. If we're to keep up with the world, then we have to change with them. Are you referring to your engagement to Yasmin? Yes. Tell me something. How does she feel about all of this? As I do. It would be like condemning her to living a lie. Did you know each other very well when you were children? Mm-hmm. We were like brother and sister. And you knew then that you were supposed to marry her someday? Well, I knew, but I never really thought about it. I mean, a boy of 10 or 12, and, and Yasmin was much younger. <laughs> yes, but she's now a very beautiful young woman. I've seen her picture in the paper. Yes, she is. And she's a princess from a very influential and very powerful state. What are, what are you saying? It's just that... I believe that there must be quite a few people here in Barack that think that you are a fool not to go through with is that Is that what all this is about? Fine. Listen to me. I do not love Yasmin. I do not intend to marry Yasmin, and I did not invite you here to talk about Yasmin. Do we understand each other? Yeah. Good. I'm going to tell you the truth. There has only been one woman in my life since I was 20. And I had the unmitigating gall to ask a certain Senator Denning for her hand in marriage. Stop it. <laughs> I feel like I could die right now and go to heaven. <laughs> then I would envy the angels who come. Let's go take a walk in the garden. I want to hear the Rosella singing. Of course. Um, I have that present for you, though. Oh, no, come on. You've done much too much for me already. This is part of the same tradition as the Rosella. Just as the Rosella was a symbol of joy, the bread is a symbol of abundance and prosperity. Flower is a symbol of unfolding love. For a time. Oh, it's beautiful. What, what does all this mean? <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> my mother. 